Hello, this is Sharif. I just nailed it. This video might be kind of long, so sit back, take it easy, and enjoy, please. It is a two channel Christmas collaboration between me, Just Nailed It, and Pumpkin Snail Station. So please check out her video and watch entirely. See what she came up with. It should be pretty similar to what I'm doing, but we'll see as we go along what she's done. Um, on my nails, I have, I cannot see, I have my base coat, first in line by Sinful. On my ring finger, I have Queen of Evening, it is a really, like, frosty silver, really high, I don't know what high, not pigmented, not shine, I don't know what word, it's a very frosty, very frosty silver. Boy love the Broadway line. I also have by Pure Ice. It is called Hit the Floor. The name is very, very um, familiar to me, and I can't figure out why. I don't know if maybe somebody's used it that I've seen, and the name just stuck with me. I'm not really too sure, but it did really love this color. It is a sparkly red. I have that on four fingers. I have the silver on my ring finger, as you can see. This is part of my Christmas mani. Let me remove these. Oh boy. Okay, on my nails, I also put a Broadway clear coat on the red. Then I went and put a coat of my Pro FX. Did my cleanup on those. Off to the side, I have sitting. I can't get it to pick up. Please forgive me. I have my palette with two She Modern water decals. One is the red ornament. That is what I'm going to be working with first. I'm going to be picking that up with a stamper and coloring in the back side with a French White Kiss White Nail Polish. And my decal has started to curl. I so hope I can get it to flatten out. Now I gotta cut me out another decal and I really don't want to do that. Oh, the other decal is, whoops. My decal has crinkled on me. I'm trying to get the button back out. not going to work. I'm going to have to put this back on my palette over there. I'm going to have to recut out me another decal and trim up. So while I do that, I'm going to pause my video and I'll be right back with you. Alright, I'm back. My decal is, I've trimmed it, cut it, trimmed it. It is now soaking in a tad bit of water for a few seconds. Excuse me, so I can pick it up with the stamper. As soon as that is ready, I am going to have a really hard time seeing. Hope I am on frame. My detail is ready to be picked up. going to dab it with the tissue, but dab out the excess water. I have a cap here that I'm going to tap out some um, white nail polish. I'm going to color in the back of the water decal so that you can see white through it. 
I have my big diving tool. I can't see if I'm in frame. I have rolled. Well, let me roll it good enough. My diving tool. I'm going to slide. I'm not going to say even touch it. Let the ball of paint touch the decal. Not the diving tool itself. Color in what is going to be shown. If this is a solid color, you would not be able to color it in. This is a red decal, but it does have some clear spots, I guess you'd call it, in the design on the ornament ball that I have colored in with the white polish. Let that sit there for just a brief moment. I'm going to put a top coat on my nail. Using the Broadway clear coat. I've got that sitting off to the side. Whoops. Just gonna float this lightly over my nail. Just to give the decal something to adhere to. A lot of people use a sticky. Oh, I forgot what they're called. It's like a sticky base coat in a way. I don't have said product, so this is what I'm you know, doing is putting just a regular base coat on my nail. Or top coat, I'm sorry. You take the stamper. This is what I use for glitter. You can tell I have glitter on the back of my stamper. You can hold it up. You can see the image through it that I colored. At least I hope you can. It's the majority red, but it's got the white spots that's going to show through. I'm going to now stamp this on my nail. Sure this is positioned right. And there we go. I hope that you can see that. Then you can just put your cap if I knew where it was right now back on your stamper. That one like, stamper I just got off of wish a while back. It's real sticky, which is good. Picks up the image is really nice, but um, I use it for my sheet modern pigments. So I keep that separate from my other stampers. Alright, my next decal that I'm going to put on is the red bow. I'm going to put that on top of said ornament. And then I'm going to attempt to draw the red line where it looks like it would be hanging. Sorry about that, I'm trying to pick up the bow. This is not even separate. Good positions how you want it. Get your tissue, dab it down, seal the water out of your decal, and I think it looks pretty cute. I have got a whoops, wrong end. I don't remember where I got this. I wish I could. I know it wasn't from Wisher Ally Express. I don't know if it was Beauty Big Bang. Beauty Big Bang. Um, I don't remember, but it's a dual ended brush. It's got this really thin line here, or the really thin brush here. So that's what I'm going to use to draw my line. I am going to use a wet, a wet wild black to draw that. I'm going to 
put that out of my little cap here. I only need a little bit. Whoops. And that was a normal nail. Nothing like a little black to destroy your Christmas manicure. Get your brush, roll the tip of it around in the polish. You can see the tad bit amount you're just drawing a very thin line. Take it from, let's see, where am I? Take it from the center, let the tip of the brush do your work. Draw your line up, whoops. Draw the line up towards your cuticle, except mine didn't. Come with me all the way. There we go. Hope you can see that. I do think my mani is cute. I really, really like it. I've got my pump and spokes just sitting here. I'm going to clean my brush out. Roll it around in the remover. And wipe it off on my tissue. I'm going to do this. Make sure all the black is gone out of the pot and the brush. And afterwards, I'm going to take my coconut oil and keep it, or you know, like rub it on the brush. I'm going to keep the bristles moistened so they're not dried out. So the end of it's not frayed. I'm just going to take this and do this to the tip of the brush. Go. Put my cap back on. If anybody has ever seen this before and knows where I got it, please leave me a comment down below and let me know. As I said at the beginning of this video, this is my last manicure before Christmas. This is going up Christmas Eve morning, Monday the 24th. Um, no videos will be going up Christmas. The day after, I will be posting where I have opened the two presents I received. One from Pumpkin Snail Station, the other from Simp uh, Nails of Interest. <laughs> Sorry. Speaking of Nails of Interest, I almost forgot. Her and I were bad around ideas, so were, so was I and Pumpkin, but I was stressed out about this manicure. I'm not good at matching up colors. Which I knew I wanted to do the red, the silver, but the bulb, I didn't know what bulb I wanted to do. I didn't know how I wanted to do this, that, or the other. So, Nils and Interest and I were throwing around some ideas, and she was helping me, you know, giving me some ideas and some advice. So I want to thank her. Go check out her channel as well. Don't forget to check out Pumpkin's Nail Station for her other end of this collaboration. Hope you like my manicure. Next, I'm going in with a leather base top coat. I'm going to seal in my design, my decal. Once down the center, once down each side, back down the center again, and I'm going to cut my nail. That's the only finger I'm putting this on because this is the decal. And as I told you before, I have my Pro effects or factory top coat on my nails. I will also be putting it on my ring finger to seal that in. I think this turned out really, really super cute. I hope everybody likes it. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If this is your first time here, please click the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified of all future videos. Don't forget to do that now. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, from Just Nailed It to you, to yours, and your family. Have a Merry Christmas. Have a blessed Merry Christmas, I should say. Don't forget the real meaning behind the day. It's not about the presents and the lights. and It's about the birth of Jesus Christ. And I hope everybody remembers that one. 
I wish my manicure could reflect that. I did try earlier. Um, we could go to do a ranger, and um, it didn't turn out so well. So, something to practice for next year. Well, this is the end. I'm going to call it a day. Thank you, and have a blessed day.